this is your mom Giel and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to make ubi bread roll so lately as I have noticed we there's a lot of version of ubi bread uh, cake bread baked bread so I decided to make my own ubi bread roll so now here are the ingredients that we're going to use to make ubi bread so i have three and a half cup flour or the all-purpose flour we have one quart granulated sugar we have a teaspoon of salt we have two teaspoon of yeast dry yeast we have one fourth of melted butter and then we have a one and three fourth cup of warm milk and for our because we're going to make a ubi bread so we're going to make a bake a uh, purple yam or ubi paste that I bake earlier so Warm na po itong milk na to. Ilalagay natin ngayon ang ating 2 teaspoon of dry yeast. So, let's give it a twist. So, remember, every time we make a bread, see to it that our milk or water is warm before we put our um, dry yeast. So, first, Let's mix together in our bowl. This is our bowl to use our dry ingredients first. Flour. And then we have the granulated sugar. And then our teaspoon of salt. So let's mix it together. So mix it together. So, sa paggawa po ng bread, na ubi bread, this is so very easy. And uh, compare to the last time that I made the, um, what is it? Um, <clears throat> the cinnamon raisin bread. So, it's like uh, really, uh, like more energy. But here, this is so easy to do it. Okay, so now that we mix our dry ingredients, we're going, we're going to make a hole in the middle. Then let's get, or we're going to make about like a five minutes in our um, yeast. So after we mix the dry ingredients, we're, let's go ahead and put our one fourth cup of butter right and then I'll go ahead and put and add the one three three fourth cup of milk with yeast we start to mix it So, we're going to mix it up. Although, uh, meron po tayong um, bread machine, but I'm not gonna use that. So, I decided to use my hands later to uh, massage, give a massage on our, um, uh, our dough. Gagamitin po natin ang ating malilinis na mga kamay sa paggawa ng ating dough na gagamitin. So, I have my machine to work it for me, but hindi ko po yun gagawin. So, kinakailangan pong everything is from the scratch, everything is well manual. Para po malaman nyo, kahit kung meron man kayo sa bahay na machine o wala, mm, bread machine sa bahay, so, magagawa nyo ang ingredients, ang ating 
uh, ubi bread na gagawin ngayon. So, all my ingredients is in the description below. You could visit all the ingredients in my description below. Kung hindi po natin nasundan lahat ang ating step-by-step -step ng procedure na ubi bread na gagawin natin ngayon. So, after we put all the ingredients, sisimula na po natin ang ating pagmamasa ng dough na gagawin natin sa ating ubi bread. Ito na po, after nating mamasa ang dough for 30 minutes. So now we're going to put inside the big bowl and let it rest. So here, nalagyan na natin ito ng butter. You have to put the butter para hindi po dumikit pagkatapos. Shiny, shiny, my baby. So we're going to put inside the big bowl and then atin pong irarap siya ng plastic wrapper and we're going to wait you know when we're baking we're going to make for an hour to rise up our dough right ito po siya ganda ng aking dough at we're back after an hour so let's check the dough here you go look a my dough wow oh my dear pag meron talagang pagmamahal ang inyong pagmamasa tingnan nyo ang kinalabasan ng ating dough ngayon so aalsin natin yung air na yan sa loob ng ating dough yan Do it like this. So ngayon, lagyan natin. Meron tayong extra flour dito at ating budbura ng ating table, working table. At dito natin ilalagay ang ating dough. Yan. So kanina guys, uh, for a second, kung hindi natin nabanggit, meron ditong egg. So kung nakalimutan ko man siyang sabihin, ito ay gagamitin natin like an egg wash para sa bread natin na gagawin. Tsaka ito nga yung binake natin na uh, halaya. So, I use the powdered halaya. I bought the powdered halaya and then I mix, mix it. So, if you guys know about the Filipino store, the, um, in Filipino store, there's a jar of uh, ubi halaya, it says, or uh, ubi spread. So, it, uh, of course, purple color. So, pwede natin gamitin yon sa ating uh, ubi bread roll na ginagawa ngayon. So, this one. So, there's a sweet purple yam spread ube. So, this is available in Filipino store. So, uh, pwede rin po natin itong gamitin sa ating ubi bread na gagawin kung hindi po kayo marunong gumawa ng ube Halaya. At ito nga po, tatanggalin na natin ang ating bread. Oh my dear, oh la la. So ngayon, hahatiin natin itong ating bread na to into so ilang titingnan natin kung ilan ang magagawa natin dito sa ating uh, bread. Na. So I'll see to it na magkapareho sila. Okay. Ito dito. Ganyan. So, ayan, o. Oh. Tingnan natin. At i-fold natin ito isa-isa. And then roll. Roll it in here. Ano ba dito? Roll. So, para hindi po pala ma-dry ang ating head, So, pag ni-roll natin siya, lagyan natin ng pang cover. Kasi, para hindi naman madry yung cover. At lagi pong tatandaan kung alin yung una nyo ni-roll. Ito, number one. Siya yung una nyo ring gagawin. Okay? So, tingnan natin. But we have to, to, to scale. Kasi dapat sila ay pare-pareho ng... Uh, scale. Okay, so ito nga po, kinakailangan nating 
i-measure para magkakapareho sila. Okay, so 3.6, dito yan. So, ito na nga po, while uh, na-mold na natin or na-form ang ating mga dough into pieces, where is the same sizes and the same weight, so, kukuha, gagawin na natin yung ating uh, purple yam. So, gumawa po ako nung isa, at ito po ay 1 gram lamang. So, 1 gram para sa ating uh, 3.5 uh, grams na dough. So, gagawa muna tayo ng ating mga uh, uh, ube na panglagay dito sa ating bread. Alright? At so, ngayon, nakaform na nga po tayo ng ating mga dough at saka ng ating purple yam. So, isa-isahin na natin siyang ilagay dito. Don't forget na cover all the dough so that it's like become dry. Okay? So, now I'll get my one, my number one. And then we gently, gently roll the dough like this. Yeah. Just gently. Gently. Sabi ko sa inyo, huwag pong gigil. Huwag po tayong gigil kapag tayo ay nag-aano ng ating do, Kasi para po maging okay ang ating bread. Tapos, lagay natin itong ating purple yam sa gitna. Yan. And then, gentle natin itong i- roll. So, after that, we put the three purple yam inside to the dough. So, then we roll it gentle. We roll it gently. And then, lagyan natin ng design siya. Design dito, yan. Huwag po nating palalampasin. Yan. Okay. All right. Alright. Mm -hmm. And then, after that, hold one end to one end, and then we twist. Let's twist our bread. Yan. It twist natin yung ating bread. Gently pa rin. Twist the bread. Twist it. Twist it. Twist it. And then, we rock it inside and the other side. Okay? So, and we put gently to our pan in here. At bago ko nga po pala makalimutan kasi uh, kaya po tayo nakapaggawa ng bread ngayon. So dahil po sa isang kaibigan na, na natin na nag-donate ng yeast along during pandemic, it is hard to find the yeast. So I will shout out to my beautiful friend Miss Sharon De La Cruz Alencastre. I don't know kung tama yung aking pag-pronounce ng yung ano. So, si Ms. Sharon de la Cruz Alencastre ang nag-donate ng ating GIS nung panahon ng pandemic. Ah, pandemic pa rin naman ngayon. Na wala tayong makuha na ng GIS. So, really like, I can't do baking. And here is my friend uh, to the rescue. So, she sent me a GIS para daw maging masaya naman ang aking pagbebake. So, kasi nga nahinto. So, thank you for Miss Sharon De La Cruz. Hindi po siya vlogger, pero tingnan nyo, nag-donate naman siya ng ating yeast para sa ating pagbebake. Thank you so much, my friend. At mabuhay ka. Hindi po siya vlogger, pero nag-donate siya. Pero ina-announce ko po, uh, 
uh, i-shout out ko siya sa channel ko dahil meron siyang isang malaking puso. <laughs> So at ito, after po nating ma-form ang ating bread, lalagyan po natin siya ng egg wash para sa pagbibake natin mamaya. Ayan. Ayan. Para pag ready na, i-wait, mag-wait pa po tayo ng mga around 30 minutes para ipa- Uh, bloom ulit yung ating dough. So, after nga po na na-rest natin yung ating bread for 30 minutes, eto po yung kinalabasan niya. So, ibibake naman natin siya by 350 uh, degree Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. Alright, so let's go. Later. So after 20 minutes, so let's check our bread. <laughs> let's see. I'm excited. I'm excited to see my bread. Wow! Look at that. Look at that bread. Look at our bread. Ooh, la la. Mmm, yummy, yummy. At eto na po ang ating ubi bread. See? Ngayon, titikman po naman natin ang ating bread na binake. Mainit pa siya. Mmm. Yummy, yummy. So, lagay natin dito ang ating bread. So, actually, I have a tray in here to put all my bread. Yung the rest na bread po ay eh, nandun pa rin sa oven kasi hahanguin natin siya maya-maya pero ilipat muna natin sa ating tray. Meron nga pala po akong ginawa na so, itong uwi bread ay masarap. May ginawa akong matching na mas masarap para sa kanya. So, this is compatible to my uwi bread. Guess what is this? This is my Pearl milk tea. So, my homemade pearl milk tea. So, tuturo ko po sa inyo next time kung paano ko ginawa ang aking pearl milk tea or bubble tea. Alright? Tikman na natin ang ating ubi bread. Mm -hmm. Aww, it's so soft. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that. So, kung gaano ka soft yung bread natin. Look at that. How fluffy it is inside. Look. See? Told you. My third time making my ubi bread. You know? Para po sa inyo to. Ubi bread. Mmm. Mm, sarap sarap niya guys all the ingredients of my video is in the description below of my ubi bread na to pearl milk tea or bubble tea that are in today with the ubi bread that is in today swak let's eat
I hope you like this video and if you do leave a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and don't forget hit the notification bell para lagi kayong update as always this is your mom here and I'll see you on the next one peace